least if it's bad news, I have you telling them. I'm not telling them nothing. <gasps> you guys! Oh, I've waited so long for you. The good news is mama had her babies. She has a beautiful set of twins, uh, but she had four. Two were stillborn. <laughs> so uh, I was actually in my vehicle about a half an hour away, so I watched the whole thing live on my Nest cameras. I'm like, Mark, drive faster. She took a long time to get up, so whether, I don't know, she had a little bit of the starting stages of maybe pregnancy toxemia, I'm not sure, but. They look good, they look like they've had a drink, so I'm just gonna move them into a little pen here. And I got news today, uh, Rex, my vet, was supposed to come Sunday to do a breed soundness exam on my Billy Rams, and he had an opening today, so he is gonna be here in about an hour. So I'm gonna get that all set up for him, get them in a pen, and maybe um, just go around with a bottle here while I've got like an hour to spend. Okay, we're good now, Rex. 
naked. Okay, little man. Why? What's his number? At least if it's bad news, I have you telling me. I'm not telling him nothing. <laughs> oh, looks fine. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm back for the night check. Rex left uh, about an hour ago, an hour, an hour and a bit. Um, and good news, all the billies are good to go. They all got a green light. Uh, we did the whole breed soundness evaluation and he left me with uh, just his his um, written evaluation, I guess you could say. Uh, Billy himself looks like his report wasn't quite as good as the other two, um, but he uh, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> he's going to stay. We'll see what happens. Uh, he said all the, the sperm had good mobility, everything was good. So what happens is we take a, a tiny little sample of, sp of semen and then it gets tested under a microscope and he looks for uh, motility. I'll just, I'll show you the, uh, so the characteristics is motility, uh, percentage of normal cells, uh, percentage of head abnormalities, percentage of mid, mid piece abnormalities, percentage principal piece abnormalities, percentage detached heads, percentage Prox proximal droplets and percentage acrosome abnormalities. And then it's got WBC, RBC, and other. I'm not really sure what that stands for. So on, um, on his classification, it says, and he signed it, satisfactory potential breeder in all three in all three rams. If you remember, I think I have a dud ram and uh, Unfortunately, I can't see the paint marks anymore, so I don't know which one he was. I never did get an ear tag number on him. So he said, Rex said there was really no point of spending the money to do an actual semen evaluation because he said, he said quite likely his, it could be his libido. So as I told him, I said, you know, when all the others had marks on their chest as if they were mounting, I said, his was very much in all his breeding so far. I've never seen any pain on his chest. He said, well, doing a semen test is not going to tell us anything because he said the semen might be fine. Um, but if his libido is very low or he just maybe has a sore foot or maybe he wasn't feeling good or whatever the reasons, he says, we're not going to point, it's not going to point to the actual uh, sperm quality. So he said, let's not waste the money on that. But he said, keep your eye on him in this next breeding group. If there's no paint, he goes. So that's what we decided on that steel ram that I bought uh, oh, it, a year ago, almost now. So anyways, breeding, breeding is going to start uh, in this group. I think I have the rams set to go in. I went on my spreadsheet today. I think it's going to, the rams are going to go in on the 21st of October. We are already preparing for March lambs, if you can believe that. So um, I'm always kind of a couple groups ahead all the time, even though I just scanned for December, I'm already planning for March lambs. So it's, you're always kind of two groups ahead of where you are. Like I'm lambing right now and I'm already working on two other lambing groups. So it's kind of interesting. It's a kind of an interesting way that I do this whole system. Meanwhile, when I was helping Rex, we had another set of twins born. So I just want to run in and check them out. Okay, so here's my new arrivals. One, two, and I just fed them some colostrum because mom, she's fine, but she's not an aggressive mom. She doesn't help them get to her udder. So I just, they look like they were shivering and they were crying, so I topped them up. Um, sometimes if they get a little bit of milk into them, a little bit of colostrum, they, they'll have enough strength to just find it on their own. So that's what I'm kind of hoping. She's just a lazy mom. Just lazy. 
These are the two from this afternoon, and they're all looking very happy, dried off. These are, I believe, from this morning, this afternoon. These two. I think I actually got you on Insta Story. I might have it on Insta Story that she literally dropped it right out of her. She just like sky dumped her lamb. I think I might have footage of that one. And then these are from yesterday, and I supplemented this one and that one, but not the big one. The big one wouldn't drink, so he's obviously won your heart. Uh, this is a single from this morning, first thing. And then these triplets, these two drank for me. So I uh, won't have a problem pulling one off tomorrow from these triplets and putting in the bottle baby pen. So now I think uh, I'm just gonna finish the day. I was gonna tag, but I just remembered I was doing a bunch of computer work in the office today, left my Gallagher in there. So it's late, it's getting late. And uh, I think I'll just do it in the morning. Um, what I wanna do is go make sure those bottle babies that we just put on the machine today, I just wanna make sure they're getting back on it. They're, every time I see them, they're sleeping. So I just wanna make sure they're drinking before I leave for the night. Hopefully these guys will be okay. Um, Mom is not doing a very good job licking them off, so they're just shivering a bit, so I just worry. It got cold fast. We are down to nine, so hopefully very soon this will be done. But for tonight, that is probably a wrap, and we will see you guys in the morning. Well, not off to a great start this morning. My lazy, the lazy you last night that wouldn't feed her. Well, I don't know if she fed her baby or not. The uh, the one did not make it till morning. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know what happened. It drank like 100 mils for me last night and it drank really well. So there's no reason it should have been. Even, even if that wasn't, and it probably was enough to get it till morning. So I wonder, I don't know if she laid on it or what. It was kind of buried in straw, so. <clears throat> but this one seems to be. You only had two and they were tiny. So unless there was something wrong with it that I just don't know about, but uh, super annoying. What are you saying, mom? I do wonder if I should put her in a pen and check her. The problem with coming in, it's five in the morning, uh, so whether she's been laboring through the night is the question. Not sure what to do. Hmm. And sure enough, Mama had three, but the first one was coming out backwards. She almost actually got it out herself, so her the butt was coming out and the back joint like this. So. If you can imagine, it was probably not the greatest feeling. So I helped pull, uh, I helped pull it out and the other two were right behind, so. And she's full of milk, but that one is trying to get under the gate. So I'm going to put it, I, we have a pen set up for it. So we're gonna just move those guys in so everybody's clean. I like to get them out of this. Problem with um, the bigger area here, we, we bed it all the time, but they start digging so then they dig that manure up from underneath. And if you get those new, brand new lambs in this, in the dirty, like where they've dug, uh, they can pick up uh, joint oak pretty quick in that umbilical cord. So I have to get them moved where it's nicely freshly bedded as quick as possible after they lamb.
So all of a sudden, a lot of these ewes look like they are gonna go. I got one in labor right now, and one, two, three, four, five looking at me going, it's almost time. <laughs> Lamb is right there, and uh, I'm just gonna help pull it out. God, best day ever. Good girl. Hello, baby.
feels like Christmas. I have waited this whole lambing group and we're almost done. And look what I just got. Another Billy and it's a girl. Come here, show everybody hello. God, I'm so happy. Good girl. Did you see that? Oh, I just took off my glove. Oh, it's so worth it. Can we see him for a sec? Say hello to the world. You're so beautiful. I see you. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Welcome to the family. Oh, I've waited so long for you. Okay, go see mom. There you go, mom. Yes. So I'm on night duty. It's about six o'clock or something like that. I just was in the house making supper. Mark is down the road working on a shack that we're actually putting right back there. We've been working on it off and on, ooh, probably since the winter. And uh, it's really starting to take shape. Okay. So he's just done this the last couple days. Put the exterior on. And I think in the spring, we um, spray foamed, or when I say we, I watched Mark do it. And then uh, we use the old barn boards too for the ceiling. So yeah, looks pretty good here. I'll show you the other side. There it is, our little project. Pretty proud of yourself. So that's kind of what we're doing this afternoon. I let Carissa come back. She came back a couple times today just to feed those bottle babies, those new ones. My little Billy girl is doing so good. She's like the highlight of my day. I love them all, but I don't know what it is about those painted lambs. They just, my heart melts. Anyway, tonight's feature. So that ewe was uh, struggling pretty hard and the head was starting to come out and no feet. So I did actually help pull and it was a, quite a bit of a pull because they are two really big lambs. So they're, uh, they're very, very yellow, which means mom's been struggling for a bit. <laughs> She's like, what just happened? But all is good. Here's my one from this afternoon. She may or may not have just had a whole bunch of snuggles. <laughs> not as friendly as Billy, but I'll work on her. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> 